Hey there, how are you? In this video, we will see how to install Docker or Docker Desktop in Windows 11. By the way, you can follow the same process even if you have Windows 10. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. With that saying, let's get into the video. I'm gonna see you on the other side of the intro. Welcome back. Before we go ahead and install docker in our system, let's first make sure we don't have docker already installed. For that, let's go to command prompt and type in docker hyphen hyphen version. It says docker is not recognized, which means you don't have docker in your system installed already. So let's install it now. So I will close this. First thing to do here is you need to update your Windows system to the latest version. For that, uh, let's go to Windows Update Settings. If it shows you are up to date here, you are good to go. If in case it shows updates are pending, go ahead and install them. So the reason to update uh, your system is it will ensure you that you have the latest build of Windows, which meets the minimum requirement for Docker installation. So once you made sure your system is up to date, go to your favorite browser and type in docker for windows and go to the first link that says docs.docker.com slash desktop slash windows install. So if you go down here, let me accept all the cookies so that it will be gone. So, so here you can see system requirements. Uh, we have some prerequisites. Our system should met to install Docker. So first point here is for Windows 11. And if you are using Windows 10, uh, refer the second point that is Windows 10. So mine is Windows 11. So let's see. Home or Pro version to one H2 or higher is needed for enterprise or education. Uh, version 2, 1, H2 or higher is needed. So let's check if we meet these brick sites or not. So go to settings and go to system. Go down here, you can see about section and within about section, you can see Windows specifications. So here I can see my edition that is Windows 11 home and version is 2.2 H2. So let's see for Windows 11 home, uh, 2.1 H2 or higher is needed. So 2.2 H2 is higher than 2.1 H2. So this requirement is met. So whatever the system you are using Windows 11 or Windows 10, uh, while I am making this video, these are the versions that should be needed, but they might change in future. So whenever you are installing it in your system, make sure you go to this page and uh, refer these points and verify you have the right uh, version or not. So Moving forward, next point, enable the WSL2 feature on Windows. Don't worry about this while we are installing Docker. If it is disabled in, a, in your system, it is uh, an option called enable WSL2. So we can take care of this then. And next we have some hardware prerequisites to be met. Our system should have 64-bit processor, 4GB RAM and BIOS level hardware virtualization should be enabled. So let's see. Uh, go back to your settings and about uh, right about this Windows specification you can see device specifications here and within this uh, installed RAM section it says 16 GB so greater than 4 GB and system type is 64 bit right so these two requirements are met now BIOS level hardware hardware virtualization should be enabled so let's see let's go to task manager I will maximize this and within this go to the second section that says performance and here you can see a column named virtualization here and it says enabled. So most of the times for all the modern systems it is it will be enabled. So if in case for you it is disabled you can uh, enable that. For that you need to go to uh, turn windows features on or off this one and here you can see virtual machine platform. So if it is disabled for you, check this one and restart your system, then you will be good to go. Okay, I will close this and now, uh, sorry. Now we have all these prerequisites met. 
let's go up and click on this one download docker desktop for windows so it is 500 mb it will take a while to download i am canceling this because i have already installed it so once you download this one uh, once the download is completed for you you can go to your downloads and double click on the installer file so it will initialize the installation and yeah click on add the shortcut okay i will maximize this so the installation is going to take a while well you might need to uh, restart your system now so so i restarted my computer so once you completed installing docker and restart your computer you actually get a pop-up from docker asking you to accept license and agreement so go ahead and accept that uh, for me it came but i happened to miss recording that so now i am opening docker manually and it will start okay so it says docker desktop starting so give it a minute yeah it started now so let's now let's open command prompt once again and let's see if we get docker version now yes we got docker version and let's run some sample docker command docker ps hyphen a it will list all the containers obviously in our case we don't have any containers so our list is empty so let's run some sample container docker run hello world we don't have hello world container locally in our system so it is pulling it from docker hub and that's about this video guys uh if you find it useful click the like button and please do subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching